Are you looking for some hot tips to nail that college audition? If so, you're in the right place. I'm John Kurakawa, and today I'm going to tell you what you need to know to nail that all-important college audition. By the way, I'm trying a new audio setup. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is the season for college auditions. As someone who went to college back when dirt was invented, and as a college professor for the last few decades, I've seen a lot of great auditions and others that could have been great with a few tweaks. Most of these tips will also apply to auditions in general. So even if you're auditioning for something else, don't worry, I've got your back on this one. Tip number one, get your materials together. Get everything in a notebook, and neatly organized. If you're using a tablet, make sure page turns are not going to be an issue. This might require either a pedal or some PDF editing on your part. Nothing looks worse at an audition than fumbling through your band folder looking for your music. An organized audition notebook also makes for effective practice. Tip number two, make sure you know exactly what the audition requirements are as soon as possible. Not every school has the same requirements. If you have questions, don't hesitate to contact the professor directly. They'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Tip number three, practicing should always be ongoing. Remember that the metronome is your best friend here. If you're not studying with a good private teacher, that's the best thing you can do for your playing and for your audition. Tip number four, use technology. Record yourself often, like every day. Listening to recordings of yourself can give you a lot of insight into what you need to do to improve. I don't know about you, but when I hit the record button, it definitely amps up the pressure a bit, and this can help to build your mental toughness. Tip number five, schedule a few mock auditions. Practice playing your audition material in front of people without stopping. Play for a good friend or colleague you trust. They don't have to be a clarinetist, just someone to make you nervous. You don't want your audition to be the first time you're playing your material in front of people. The more you get used to playing in front of people, the better you'll do when you get to the actual audition. Tip number six, consider contacting the clarinet professor and scheduling a lesson with them. As a clarinet professor, I can say that I really appreciate when a student shows this initiative. Plus, when a student who has come for a lesson takes their audition, it gives me a baseline. Did the student improve between their lesson and the audition? Remember that your audition doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to put your best foot forward. Also, remember that unlike almost every other academic discipline, you're going to be studying with this person for the next four years. You want to make sure that you're comfortable and that you are compatible with their teaching style. On the other hand, you as a student also want to be open-minded and receptive to show that you're teachable. It's a two-way street. Remember, it's easy to get attracted to a beautiful campus, but it won't mean anything if you hate your teacher because you'll be miserable for four years. Besides, music majors spend most of their time in the music building anyway. Trust me on this one. Tip number seven. For the audition itself, you've practiced a ton, recorded yourself, listened to your teacher, taken a lesson with a professor, done mock auditions, done everything you're supposed to do. Make sure you look the part. No jeans, clothes with holes, tennis shoes, or anything like that. Remember, as a famous deodorant brand used to say, you only get one chance to make a first impression. So dress professionally. A nice shirt or blouse, slacks or skirt with nice shoes. Maybe even a suit if you feel like it. Tip number eight, make sure you know where you're going. I have yet to visit a college campus that actually makes sense. Every college has maps online and usually provides instructions for the audition day. On the day of an audition, you don't want to add any stress because you don't know where you're going. Plan this in advance and allow plenty of time. You'll feel better for it. Tip number nine, waiting to play. You are amazing and you can do this. But let me tell you something. Everyone sounds amazing and better than you when they're behind a door. Personally, I hate waiting to play. It gets my nerves going. When I hear someone playing the same piece as me, it can be intimidating or even make me question myself. Wear earbuds, preferably noise canceling while you're waiting. Listen to anything that calms you. Your favorite music, your audition pieces, motivational speakers, anything that blocks out the person going before you. 
Tip number 10. At the audition, toot a couple of notes in the room. But make sure you don't overdo it. Personally, I don't even test my read. That's what the first piece is for. If you test your read and you don't like it, you've defeated yourself before you even begin. But having said that, I think it's probably not a bad idea to toot two or three notes, get comfortable, and enjoy. Tip number 11, always be polite. Answer questions directly. Save the humor for later. You never know how things can be taken. A joke you might think is inoffensive could have unintended consequences. You may have questions as well. Feel free to ask those when prompted. Also, don't forget to thank the professor and audition committee for their time. They'll appreciate it. So if you are auditioning for college this year, I wish you all the best. I still believe that music is a very noble profession in all of its forms, whether it be education, performance, history, theory, composition, therapy, you name it. Do you have any audition strategies you found to be effective that I haven't mentioned? If so, please put them in the comments. Thank you to everyone who has liked my videos and subscribed. This channel has exceeded my wildest expectations, and I love where we're going. Please feel free to check out another of my videos here, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.